Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the listing page layout manager for VP Rentals team. I will use this listing page as example to show the settings available. First, I will go in team options. Here you can set the options that you need for the listing page. So I will go to VP Rentals options. I will go to listing page, the listing page layout manager. In this section, you can disable listing page sections and change the sections order. For the settings here to apply, you will need to enable the layout manager. I will save changes. You can see that now all sections are enabled. In the listing page, you will have duplicate elements like gallery, description, map owner. And next I will show how each option here will affect the listing page. You'll have this option hide default description section. I will set it to yes. This means that the default section will not show. So now I have these two description sections on refresh. The one above the slider is hidden. Going back to team options, if you want to disable the second description as well, you will need to move description tab from the enabled column to the disabled one. I will save changes. Now the description section is fully disabled in the listing page. Going back to team options, I will enable back the default section and I will leave it like this. Next you'll have hide default owner section. I will set it to yes. I will refresh the page. Now you will have the owner details here and the section below the page content was removed. Going back, if you want to keep the owner section that is played below the content, you will need to set the option to no and move the owner section here in the disabled section. I will save changes and now on refresh, the owner section in the page content will not show and the owner details will show here. Going further to the next section, you will have hide default map section. I will set it to yes. Here you have a map, but since you cannot have two maps in the page, the first one will show well and the second one will show like this. I will refresh the page to see the change that I just made. And now only the map here will show and the one here is disabled. I will go back to team options and I will set to show default map section and I will disable this one. I will save changes and on refresh, you will see the map here and the one from the page content was removed. Going back, you have a high default similar listing section. I will set it to yes. Now you have a similar section above the owner and one below. On refresh, you will see the change that I just made and the section that was displayed below the map is now removed and only this one is visible. I will set it to no and I will disable the similar listings from here as well. Now on refresh, the similar listings in the page content was removed and I have the section displayed at the end of the page. These are the sections that are duplicate and you need to choose to disable it from the yes no options or from the layout manager here. Next you'll have the rest of these sections that you can disable by moving them in the disabled section. I will show, so I will go back. I will disable gallery. I will disable listing details and terms and conditions. I will save changes and now on refresh, the gallery will not show anymore and I do not have the details and terms and conditions section. Also here, you can change the sections order. I will show, I will move the address First in the page, I will save changes and now instead of price on refresh, I will have the address first. In this section, you also have the option to use sticky sidebar on listing page. You can enable or disable this option. These are the settings that you can make from the listing page layout manager section. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.